So why did Joe Biden decide that unity was going to be his uh, his slogan, his his motto or whatever of his supposed presidency? Well, it's because Obama took hope and change. You know, I mean, there's only so many vague words that you can use that mean pretty much nothing. And uh, so, am I going to unify with Democrats? No, I'm not because uh, you, you guys, you Democrats, you you want me dead. Uh, you want people like me dead. You wish we didn't exist. Uh, because we don't go along with your narrative of child slaughter and godlessness and sexual deviancy and lying and plagiarism. When you get behind your candidate, Joe Biden, who hollow husk of an individual who who doesn't even know where he is and and uh, pretty much, again, sold his soul to, to the demons, um, literally. And, and, and Kamala Harris, like, why would I unify behind, behind a, a Marxist nut job who... 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 <laughs> who made her way up the ladder of suck sass in this in this country through means of adultery and sexual perversion just to just to spout Marxist nonsense at the highest levels of our government. What what kind of crock of shit is this? And now you got the rock, dumb as the rock? You, you got him coming out crying that he, because you're so happy that, that he voted for Biden? Like it like oh man. I was reading some of the, some of these comments here on this YouTube video from the Daily Wire, Michael Knowles talking about how how he was upset that 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 what's his name Dwayne Johnson or whatever came out with this sappy ass video. Like you, you you can't just you can't just be a man anymore. You you gotta you you know have this stupid sensitive side, I guess, like that. So uh, yeah, some of these comments are pretty funny, and and my internet kind of just went out. I don't know why, but once I get it back, maybe I'll jump in there and make a funny comment. Dwayne Johnson is a new poster child for the term dumb as a rock. <laughs> dumb as the rock. Hey, rock, you do realize you just gave your daughters a communist country to grow up in? Way to go, tool. The roids must be giving him a hormone imbalance. Yep. I cried when I found out he voted for an anti-American racist. Yep. My vote represented decency and the good of humanity, but my vote wasn't for Biden. Oh, man. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Rock is farting in the faces of half of his fan base by doing this. Now we can really smell what he is cooking. Oh, man. Farts will never not be funny. All right, yeah. The Rock is officially now the pillow. Oh, man. Like, why don't you celebrities just, like, shut up? You don't know anything. You haven't done anything, really, in your lives and stuff like that. Like, like, what, why do I give a shit about what Dwayne The Rock Johnson says? Oh, it's because I'm, come, because I'm huge, dude. I'm huge, man. Oh, farting in the faces of half the country. All right, but uh, let's try and get a little bit serious. Now, I, I want to speak, once I settle down a little bit. I want to speak a little bit to this notion of unity. Like, what? Like, did, can it actually mean anything? Is, is there any principles, any foundation that we as Americans can can truly unify behind? Because there's something you need to be unifying around. You don't just unify like over nothing, and that that's what they seem to to want. They they weren't very you know unification friendly in the last four years, and now we got to suck it up. Whoopi Goldberg says we got to suck it up, just like they sucked it up. Oh, man, like, like, this country's not headed in a good direction. If if it turns out that Trump wins, even, which you know, hopefully that'll happen. But if it turns out he does, like, we're we're so hopelessly divided, not in our party affiliations or, or whatever box we check on the ballot, but about what we what we believe is true, and and what we believe is really important in in life to humanity. And for, for some of us, it's God, it's truth, it's, it's, it's the teachings of Christ, it's, it's being free to make a life for yourself and, and to, to not be shackled with taxation and, and government regulations, to, to not be put under the boot of the government. That's what some of us hold important. And then these other, so there's other people who, who hold important, like um, whatever step you are on the ladder of victimhood or or slaughtering your child because you're a strong, independent woman, or being gay because, you know, being straight's just too normal for you, I guess, or 
you know, just 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 this deviancy and and this just pedophilia that's rampant on on their side, especially you know in the church and in government and like what is there for us to unify behind? Just admit it. Be honest that you you want folks like me dead. You don't want us around because you think we're just a hindrance to your to your plots to what you want to do to the globe. And uh, so no, I'm not going to unify behind you. Go ahead and put me on your list, AOC. Like, like I could give a shit less about about what you say you're going to do. Like, like I'm sure you voted for Biden. Y'all got a lot in common. You, know, you hardly know where you are and you can't speak properly. Like. At least he's old. What, like, what's your excuse? Damn. All right, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more organized and, and, and see if I can say anything, uh, you know, of any values instead of just laughing at these fart jokes about The Rock. The Rock, he's officially now the pillow. Uh. <clears throat> oh yeah, Mountain Mullet's going strong. Just in time for the wars to kick off. But anyway, I, I think it's pretty clear, looking at, at history and stuff, that in the past, religion was the primary source of, of unity for countries. And Thomas Hobbes says this in Leviathan. Uh, I got it on the shelf, actually. It's, he's like kind of a influential political thinker from the, from the 1600s. So you should read this stuff instead of just watching CNN and counting on them to teach you. Well, not just CNN, but like, all this stuff, like, you cannot gain a comprehensive understanding of history by watching the news and looking at memes, all right? You can't gain a comprehensive understanding of, of anything by doing that. And certainly, <clears throat> certainly, memes in the news have their place, but, like, for so many people, like, I just thought about this recently. Like, I was just so blown away that so many people were, were, are stupid enough to vote for Joe Biden that they actually think he's a good candidate or... Or, or that he's better than Trump, or that he actually stands for, for something that's good. Like, I was so blown away by this, but then I thought, like, a lot of people just read their headlines off Facebook or just catch it on the news once in a while, or they get their news in memes, and they're really not exposed to any other sort of side. So, I mean, it's sad, but but it makes sense. But, but anyway, um, Hobbes said especially that religion was the primary source of, of unity in a society, in a country. And and he didn't really believe that the religion mattered um, in, the, in the sense that the purpose of it was not divine eternal truth, but uh, a, a, an agent of co cohesion in society. And uh, we don't have that now. And I this is the question I've kind of grappled with for a lot of my life because, like, I do understand that that there there is a great power and and a great unity and cohesion in in a common faith a common creed, but like at the same time, do you make that mandatory to follow? Do you institute a state religion? Or do you form a theocracy? I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't think those are good forms of government, and I don't think that's moral or or just or or a correct thing to do to force people to uh, abide by the rules of another religion. Um, per se. I mean, maybe, maybe to an extent it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool if, if we at least had, if, if we could at least arrive at a deist understanding of of the divine where, like, all life is sacred and we don't just slaughter children because, uh, you know, we uh, want to keep having sex outside of marriage. Uh, anyway, I digress, but um, we've torn down a lot when we decided that religion didn't really matter in our society a lot. And especially in the United States, we're such a diverse country in terms of uh, just the, the various philosophies and religions and ethnic groups. And, and that's all well and good, but, like, that's not a source of unity, but kind of by definition. Like, why, why would diversity of, of opinion, diversity in background, d diversity in what you believe are the fundamental truths of the universe, why, 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 why would diversity in, those, in that sense cause unity? What are we unifying behind? And um, I, I've yet to see any real answer to this question. Like, being Americans, we're unifying behind being Americans. Like, in what sense? In, in the sense that we all live in this in this country ca called the United States of America. I mean, you know, people don't even really like the term Americans, as, as I have mentioned before. Because, you know, they're stupid and they got an axe to grind. But, like, what are we unifying behind? That That's not... 
necessarily good enough for me to say, oh, we're all Americans and we need to unify behind that. Well, you know, to me, being American means, uh, yeah, of course, I live in this country, but, like, I, I hold to a set of principles, a, a set of self-evident truths, if you will, that uh, all men are created equal by their creator and they are endowed with uh, certain unalienable rights, life, liberty, and, to, you know, pursuit of happiness and or property, according to John Locke's original writings. Or, or, or in the Bill of Rights, the, the, the right to be able to defend yourself, the right to free speech, the right to worship as you see fit, like... Uh, to me, that's kind of what it means to unify around the idea of being American. But um, you people on the left, you're actively seeking to tear all of that down. You're, you're, you're seeking to tear down the institutions that have, have built the country and have kept it running. And you, you, you actively tear down history. You tear down statues. You, you burn books. All right. You bunch of Nazis. And you, you tell lies. You tell lies like it's your day job. And, and to, to an extent, it really is. And that's, that's, that's all you do. That's all you produce. And um, give me a good reason why I should unify. Well, give me a good reason why, why I should seek unity with you people. Again, you want me dead like you want countless others dead. All right? You already have the blood of infants on your hands. Like, there, there's obviously nothing holy and sacred to you people. So why would I unify with with evil like that you, know, you slaughter ch children at the drop of a hat and sell their organs and uh you foment rebellion and violence in our streets you lie and and spread deceit and misinformation across across the world and um you glorify sexual perversion and and death and and just everything that's that's antithetical to to the truth and to what is good and right so, um, again, you can go put me on that list, AOC, or, or whoever, Schumer, Andrew Cuomo. Oh, I'm a tough, tough guy, Cuomo. Hey, maybe, hey, maybe he can make a video with, uh, with uh, you know, Dwayne The Rock. Yeah, you know, Andrew Cuomo. I, I, I stand for New York. What a joke. There's another guy that I, I don't understand. Why. why Why do you people in New York vote, vote for people like this? Like, what's wrong with you? Are you really living in that much of a, like fantasy world where, where like Andrew Cuomo is the guy that you want oh the Empire State I am the Empire State why do you even call yourselves the Empire State like like New York and, and California and, and Chicago like you know just 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 wait till all your Marxist policies cause the electricity to go off like you people aren't going to be able to do anything that's the thing about you too you people are not producers you're not protectors all you do is spread lies and and, and foment chaos that's all you do and you, you're pushing our society towards um a condition that you yourself are not going to be able to survive so it just doesn't make any sense to me but if we as americans are if, if our country is really going to heal then we all need to answer some tough questions about what's really important to us what do we really stand for as a country what are our guiding principles as americans and um everybody throws around oh house divided cannot fall or whatever but like this is taking it to a new level where like obviously yeah i hope trump does end up winning and and i think it'd be pretty funny to just see you people go nuts again like after telling me to suck it up like, I'm, I'm not crying. I'm not screaming at the sky because Joe Biden is, is allegedly, you know, going to be president. But, like, we need to, we, we, we need to address these questions. And uh, the, the fact that we're this divided, like, we cannot function like this. We cannot function with every election being this split down the middle where, where we're so divided on what we believe that, um, you know, just everything is terrible and, like, half the country is going to be so angry and... And, and forlorn for the next four years every time like the government shouldn't have that much of a role in your life where you need to stand and, and throw back your head and scream at the sky because the guy you didn't vote for got elected yeah that's what I think of. that's what I think of unity with you people um, that's all I got to say for now this wasn't even a wild and ranch just because it's, it's Kind of another one of those pathetic conversations. It's like, what, like, unity, really? Hope, change, unity. 
What's his uh, next slogan going to be? Oh, well, he's going to be dead in a couple years, or he's, he's going to get pushed down the stairs by Kamala, Kamala Harris. <laughs> 200,000 Americans died because Trump's incompetent. I'm speaking, okay? Yeah, but Joe Biden can join Ginsburg in hell pretty soon, and, you know, uh, justice, justice be done. But, you know... I don't know. That's, that's all I got to say for now. I just I, I had to get in the mix a little bit, but um, nope, I'm not going to unify with Marxists. I'll take care. Have a good night.